Okay, so we're going to have a look at the Windows communications apps. Um, these are basically the Windows Live uh, replacements. Um, Microsoft has obviously pre-installed them on the uh, consumer preview version here. So if we start off with messaging, so this is like Windows Live mes Messenger. If we right click, we can go to new and start up a conversation with someone. So select that person, just say hey. Um, doesn't look like there's any way to share sort of images and the, the sort of typical file attachments and stuff at the moment. Um, but it's obviously just a basic messenger at the moment. I'd, I'd expect that by the time the ships, there'll probably be a bit, a lot more functionality. Um, but at the moment, it's sort of you can change your status to appear online or offline, and you can message people, um, and that's about it. There's, there's no sign of any SMS integration that we've seen rumoured. Um, but this is basically the Windows Live Messenger equivalent. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the inbuilt mail application and add a Hotmail account. So you've just seen, as we're adding the Hotmail account, uh, one of the sort of notifications from the messaging app. I just clicked on that. So that will switch us obviously back straight into the messaging app. Okay, so this is basically the mail interface here. Um, we, we're running at a bit of a low resolution at the moment, so we obviously haven't got a, a good preview on the right-hand side here. Um, but what you'll see is you can obviously access any of your mail. Okay, so you can use the delete key to delete your mails here. So just the sort of normal thing that you'd ex expect. Um, now, one of the um, important improvements here is Microsoft's actually added in Exchange functionality. Um, so you don't actually require an Outlook application to get access to an Exchange mailbox. Um, that's quite powerful for a free application um, that will ship with Windows 8. Once you've added an, an account, you can um, quickly switch between them if you right-click um, and go to the account screen here. Um, obviously, if you've got multiple accounts, they'll be listed on the left-hand side here. Um, but the default sort of interface is just this, this two-panel one here. So you've got your mail on your left and a preview on the right-hand side here. Okay, so next up we're going to have a look at the Photos application. Now this app will provide access to SkyDrive photos and Facebook photos um, by default. Um, you can also link in your uh, Flickr fo photos if you've got a Flickr account in there. Um, now the pictures library will obviously um, contain all the sort of lo local pictures that you've either saved or you've taken from a webcam. Um, we haven't got any r right now, um, but we can go in and take a look at perhaps some of the, the Facebook pictures there. So you can look at uh, some of the, you've got your cover photo there, and obviously mobile uploads, so they're, they're all freely available to, to browse through. Okay, so within the Photos application, you can obviously go into your photos here. Um, if you right click, you get a few options. You can either view it directly on Facebook, or you can set it as an app tile, um, or set it as a lock screen. So let's just go ahead and do that. So it's gone ahead and done that. So now, if we lock the device, We've got our own picture on there. Okay, so we're just going to have a look at the actual uh, calendar application. Um, if we go in, it's obviously just a sort of basic calendar here. Um, you can add, add entries as you'd expect. Um, you can you can also look at a week view. It'll give you your uh, your diary there and a day view, and that gives you today and tomorrow. Um, and you can obviously switch straight back to to today if you've gone like a few along get back to day fairly quickly so fairly simple application there.